This one new age dogma will ruin your life. Hey guys, it's John here, and I'm recording this today, uh, actually technically on my birthday. And um, I wanted to hop on and do this because I do a lot of private sessions uh, every week. And there is this one new age dogma that literally stops people from achieving anything in life. And it's the one that, it's one of the most prevalent new age dogmas out there. And I, and I think it's the one new age dogma that is the most damaging to people. And it sounds kind of funny when I say it, but it's the one where you have a pre-chosen life. That new age dogma is the most damaging of all. And I'll tell you why. Because we come down into this, pl into this physical plane to experience life. We have free will. And to... to to say that everything's pre-chosen for you and there's a fate or a destiny that you have to live into is what most people take this pre-chosen life dogma to mean. And I would probably say 30 to 40% of the people who I talk to weekly literally saying, I'm trying to find my purpose. I'm trying to find why I came into this life. I'm trying to figure out what the pre-chosen life, why did I choose this life? I get that question every week. And the reality of it is, is the whole concept of a pre-chosen life is, is based on the concept that the time is linear. You know, I chose this life, I'm coming into this life, and I'm going, going to go through this life. And the reality of it is, is, is the, that if you give yourself away to some pre-chosen thing that you can't remember, then your entire life is about seeking something as opposed to creating something. And the idea of, of are you the creator of your experience, whatever you ask in God's name, you will receive if you have faith. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can ask a mountain to move and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. What you think you become, you create your world. You are the culmination of your thought. As a man thinketh, so is he. None of those are, are, have anything to do with a pre-chosen life or something you're supposed to do, some mission you're supposed to achieve while you're here. And people lose their lives to this search for this supposed thing that they're supposed to remember or this supposed thing that they're supposed to do, some mission that they're supposed to be on. And they, and they give up the, the actual divinity of their own creation they give up the opportunity to create their life in the way they would like their life to be created. I have, I have witnessed people change their lives just by releasing that one dogma, by releasing that one new age dogma that I have a pre-chosen life that I have to live. And once they release that and they step into the I am moment and being here in the now, knowing that they're the creator, what happens is they start living the lives that they, they want to live and they start having a, a joyful, loving experience. You know, there's, you will never live in the future. You will only, only ever experience your present moment. And this present moment is the moment of creation. And you get to create. It's the I am moment, not the I will be moment or I was supposed to moment. It's the I am moment. And it's a matter of being in the here and now, creating joyfully and not fearfully. And when I see these people who are so afraid that they're, not, that they're missing their purpose or not understanding why they chose this life, they're not in the I am moment. They're in the I was. Why did I choose this life? That's, the, that's saying that there was some decision made back there that you chose this life and it's such terrible things. So you're declaring in this present moment that your life sucks. Then there's the person who says, well, I'm trying to figure out why I am, you know, what my purpose is. And they're constantly looking ahead of themselves for some, some mission or some fate or destiny that does not exist. In reality, it's the I am moment. And you are the creator of this experience. And in this moment, you have the ability with God, with source, with consciousness, with the great yada yada, to actually create a life that you enjoy and that you love. And, and to create love into the world. 
There is no greater mission than to be loving. There is no greater mission than to show love to others. You know, I leave you one commandment, love one another. It does not, I, I leave each of you an individual commandment that has a special purpose and a special mission. It's none of that. Love one another. That's, that, is the, that is the mission. That is the lesson. But you can only do that in the present moment. And choosing that, that life path where you have to achieve this and work with that and do this and that and the other thing, you're, you're literally negating your free will and you're negating your, your ability to, to be live and in the moment with the source creating something magnificent. I, I call it the most detrimental or dangerous New Age dogma because it takes the power away from the people. It takes the power away from you to be able to say, well, I'm doing this. Most people use this pre-chosen life dogma as a justification as to why their life sucks. But the reality of it is, is their life sucks because they believe it's pre-chosen. Because they believe that it's a situation whereby they have chosen to come into this exact experience, doing this exact thing, and they, they have no choice because that's the pre-chosen uh, track that they're on. And you always have your free will. You always have the, bil- the ability to create. And you never get to your, your future. You're always in the present. You're always in the I am. Well, if you always have free will and you're always in the present, it doesn't matter if you chose anything, number one. And number two, it doesn't matter if, if there's some, if, and there isn't a mission ahead of you, basically. You know, the mission is a, is a choice that you make in the present moment. What is your purpose? Choose that purpose. Live into that purpose. But the idea that, that I see of people pre-choosing lives has damaged more people than I can possibly imagine. And, and, and of, like I said, 30 to 40% of the, the readings I do are people who are stuck because they have a pre-chosen life that they don't fully know or understand. What they're doing is they're looking at their experiences and saying, my pre-chosen life has given me all these trials and tribulations. That's a justification. If you're having trials and tribulations, don't put faith in the trials and tribulations. Put faith in receiving a loving life and living a loving life. And then the trials and tribulations do go away. But only if you grab control of your creation rather than giving it up to some idea of a pre-chosen life that is a very much, that is very much a New Age dogma. And so um, that's my thought on this. And I know it's not going to be popular, but I'm not here to be popular with old age dogma or new age dogma. I'm here to speak my truth. If you don't agree with this truth, I respect that. That's your life. But I will tell you, when you release that concept, you suddenly get a happier life because you're not looking for a pre-chosen something that's never going to arrive. So that's my belief. Now you can believe as you, as you wish. But I will tell you, the people who I've helped release that New Age dogma have suddenly gotten amazing lives. One of them, you know, sold his house within weeks. And one of them got healthier because of the weeks. One of them healed themselves because they stepped into creation and not in the belief that they had to suffer through cancer because of a pre-chosen life plan. And so I want you to think about that as you're going into your day. You are creating an I am moment right here, right now. And it doesn't matter what happened in the past. It doesn't matter what happens in the future. The future is happening because of what you're thinking, doing, and saying now. And there is no fate or destiny. So you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.